Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of October 30th to November 5th, 2023. First card out for you is Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. You guys are cardinal signs, so this should be something you're really good at. Um, you're being asked this week to take the initiative, take action, be in your divine masculine energy this week, and, um, you know, do things quite assertively, you know, initiate conversations with people that need to be had, initiate new ideas in your work or school, or life, you know, start doing some sort of change that you know will benefit you in the long run. We also have self-acceptance coming through. And this says, nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in your oneness, dear divine. So I don't know why I'm feeling Libra, like a sense of ease coming from you, like comfortability, uh, increased amount of confidence that you have where you're just more like calm and centered and enjoying social interactions. I feel like socializing becomes less draining for you nowadays and you're just more in your groove now and just comfortable with the environments that you find yourself in and no longer afraid to speak up, give an opinion or initiate some sort of change in your life or in your relationships. You're not afraid to uh, sort of take the wheel a little bit, which I think is really cool. And then your major arcana card is the tower. Wow. There's definitely gonna be some sort of huge change taking place this week. So let's get some clarification with the tarot. This usually represents like something that was unhealthy or toxic in your life coming to an end. For some reason, I'm seeing health changes for you guys. Like suddenly you decide, like you just get a burst of energy for some reason. And you're like, you know what? I am sick of smoking cigarettes. I'm gonna quit right now. And it's like so sudden, so spontaneous, but like you just do it and you're successful at it. And you just be bold and, and you make that change and, it, and it's successful for you. I'm seeing something like that where it's like you get into this sudden mood of like, you know what? I'm randomly just gonna start jogging. <laughs> Never jogged a day in my life but I'm in a weird mood and I just feel like I should go jogging right now. And then you start jogging and then you just end up doing it every day and you become super healthy. You know what I mean? It's like a spontaneous like motivation that hits you and then you just keep going and doing it every day and you don't stop. And it leads you to a much healthier lifestyle. So I really do feel like this is health related or something to do with your habits, all right? Or some of you may spontaneously decide to like delete all your social media and just, you know, I don't know, focus on like writing or something. I don't know. We're gonna have six cards come out, two rows of three from the Rider Waite deck. And first card out is Devil Reversed, which is summarizes what I just said. You know, whenever the devil comes out in reversed, it's like releasing toxic habits, releasing addictions, releasing things that do not serve us. So, wow, huge, <laughs> huge here. Uh, some of you on a more extreme level may be leaving a toxic relationship, but I feel like for the majority of you, these are just talking about habits that you have and just randomly letting go of one that's really bad. Second card out, Eight of Swords Reversed. Yeah, freeing yourself from this self-entrapment, this prison of your own making. You know, this is a situation you got yourself into. You put yourself into a spiritual prison when you took up this habit, whatever it is, and now you are letting it go. Third card out is the hanged man. You're seeing things from a different perspective. This is also a lot of enlightenment and um, new information coming your way. I feel like some of you may be reading a lot more, watching a lot of educational videos, um, or just like overall filling your mind up. Some of you may even be like learning a new language or instrument I'm seeing. Uh, I just see you taking on a new perspective of life itself. And also like you're starting to see your own habits in a different way, like from a different perspective. The things that you used to find cool in the past, you're like, oh my God, why was I ever into that? For example, you may have been someone who constantly went to like the strip club and you thought it was so cool, so fun, whatever. And now maybe like randomly you find yourself, you're like, you know, that's not really that cool. Like I'm wasting all my money. Um, just chasing women who don't even actually want me. They just want to do it professionally. Like, you, it's just not cool to me anymore. And you just like change your perspective on things. Or like, it could be even like drinking. You just may be like, you know what? I used to love going out to bars and partying, 
but it just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Like I just get headaches, I get tired, there's no more fun. And I feel like you have this sudden insight of like, you know what, this isn't as fun or cool as it used to be. And it makes you completely drop a habit. And I feel like you're dropping it cold turkey, like literally completely letting it go. Like I'm just gonna be sober now, or I'm just not gonna do that anymore now. So I don't know, it's very interesting. I like the energy. Second row out, fourth card is the 10 of wands reverse, which is funny because this is literally a card of dropping something out of your life because there's just too much going on, too much stressing you out and you don't need another thing to be worried about. So um, also this is telling me that this week may be particularly busy for you. Like you may have like a full work week ahead um, or like even some like overtime, extra work, extra responsibilities around the house to take care of. Um, so that may be something else you're dealing with this week as well. Um, or I, I'm, I'm also seeing for some of you, some a friend or family member might have asked you to take on an extra responsibility such as babysitting or pet sitting or something like that or checking in on their house doing or driving them somewhere like doing them a favor. So you may have to do that this week as well. Fifth card out is the King of Cups in reversed. So this could be a water sign in your life, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They probably are masculine or a man, but they don't have to be. And they might be older than you, but again, they don't have to be. And honestly, like this is not a fun card. Another group had this. The King of Cups has been coming out for a lot of people. Um, but in reversed, I do not like the King of Cups because this shows emotional manipulation. Like, oh, well, you know, I really wanted to go out tonight, but like, I really like couldn't find a babysitter. And I know that you said you really just need extra time to yourself to relax, but like, I know you're home alone and you can watch my kid, right? Like you, you spend quality time together. They never see you, like emotional manipulation. You know what I mean? So I am seeing someone like that, or this could even be someone who constantly plays the victim in life, nonstop complaining, woe is me, my life is so hard. And it's just draining, it's exhausting. And it's coming out right next to the 10 of wands in reverse. So it's like, you really don't even wanna, like you already have a lot going on for yourself. And then on top of that, this person drains you and it's annoying. Some of you guys I'm seeing, you might even be married to this person. Um, like you, you may like work really, really hard and like they just do nothing around the house and it's draining. Cause it's like, I come home and I have to clean up after two people. Like this isn't even a fair partnership because I am giving more than if I was just single and living on my own. You know, it's a situation like that. So some of you may be like having some beef with someone you live with or a family member or something or a friend, I don't know, where it's like, I'm better off alone than I am with you in my life because at least when I'm alone, I have more energy and I don't have to do as much work. Whereas having you in my life, I am expending more energy and that's not right. You know, relationships should make your life easier, not harder. And so I do see someone here who makes your life harder and you may be seeing them from a new perspective this week where it's just like, I don't know if I should keep you in my life or like keep saying yes to you. And so you may start establishing more boundaries with that person or even like planning to leave them all, the, all together. Sixth card out is the five of cups in reverse, which is actually a really good card in reverse because it shows you getting over the past and really embracing the future for what it is. Like whenever this card's in reverse, it's like this person here who's like crying over the past and what went wrong, uh, turns around and focuses on the present moment and everything that this present moment has to offer. So again, you're seeing things from a new perspective and I feel like this is a very healthy week for you where you are just like releasing anything toxic in your life, people, habits, and you are embracing health, wealth, and energy right here in the present moment um, that is good for you, you know, and you're gravitating towards the things that do work as opposed to the things that don't work for you. And in doing that, your life becomes easier, you have more energy and you're uplifted more. So that's amazing. Thank you guys for joining me. That's your reading. Uh, watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you want personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.